Verily, it could be naught else. Somewhere nearby, dastardly doings are afoot, and only I can thwart them. Copious quantities of sand, unbearable heat. Aha! The Sigali Desert. I'd bet my life on it. Which means Uldar is but a short trek away. Yes, it all fits. Only that den of iniquity could so violently trigger my keen investigator's sets. Fear not, law-abiding citizens. Inspector Hildebrand shall soon deliver you from evil. Beg your pardon? You wish to question me as to the whereabouts of that deviant running about the town dressed in rags? Do I look like a reporter for the mithril eye? I do not consort with perverts. Oh my. Ridiculous. So this is eager to resume his activities as an agent of inquiry, and Inspector Hildebrand departs for Uldar in search of a new case. Though you would entirely be justified in leaving him to his own devices, it would be understandable if curiosity compelled you to do otherwise. Consider questioning the residents of Uldar for any information regarding the inspector's activities or recent incidents which may draw his attention. What? You're looking for a half-naked Highlander what likes to catch criminals? I think I'd remember a thing like that. If you do manage to find this inspector friend of yours, don't do something about that goddamn duelist. Your mate's pa's cousin's kid's best friend lost his blade the other day to that bastard. Language. It's the only time I say bad language on stream is when I'm reading it. We get in reaction post too. Hmm. Sorry, lass, but if it's information you want, you'd be served best by going to Wymond. The only rumors I've heard are those about the weapon thief. Calls himself a duelist, or so I hear. But when you don't allow your opponents to refuse, well, hmm. I take it you've dealt with that zombie problem, eh? So do tell. Just why they, were they dressing up like dandies? Hey, Wymond! Hey, Wymond! Tho, almighty, bugger me with a bleeding spear. The dead have risen and they're walking the streets of Uldar. No need for melodrama, my good man. As you can see, Reports of my death were greatly exaggerated. It's true. He's not a zombie. I checked. I, you, you do seem to be hale and healthy, which uh, begs the question. How in the seven hells did you survive that fall? Why question divine providence? What matters is that Eorzea's champion has returned, and that he, and by I, I mean I, shall bring this thieving duelist to justice. I heard about that, did you? Well, it might be harder than you think. Even I've got no inkling of that fellow's current whereabouts. Inconceivable. I refuse to believe that the ever-inquisitive, ever-ambitious, ever-reliable Wymond is without a single shred of information, even one of dubious relevance. Hmm... Well, I make no promises, mind you, but there was some talk of a fair maiden what said her most. This knave assaulted a young woman as well. The audacity! I should fly to her side as... Why, 
If it isn't the lady from the Sigali. A serendipitous encounter indeed. Unless you too seek the belligerent duelist? Capital, uh, it will be invigorating to engage in a friendly battle of wits. Already the spirit of competition fills me. Come, Nashu, we must away. Damn it, Hildy. I ain't told you the lass's name yet. Wyman believes it would be best if you assisted Inspector Hildebrand with his investigation. Well, Jane, you might as well go after him. He'll be disappointed if you don't. The lady in question is named Yellow Moon. She's a woman with taste for finer things in life. Safe to say, you'll find her getting fitted for something in the Weaver's Guild most every day. Uh, good luck with the inspecting, Inspector. According to Wyman, the victim Inspector Hildebrand seeks is a wealthy woman named Yellow Moon. Given her taste for the finer things in life, she can often be found at the Weaver's Guild, being fitted for a new garment. Go and speak with the Yellow Moon. With luck, Inspector Hildebrand will not be far behind. Mm, my beloved pure heart was unlike any one you've ever seen. Elegant, refined, the perfect accessory for any cultured woman. You will bring it back to me, won't you? A priceless possession, callously ripped from the hands of its owner. The lady weeps, and wind bears her sorrow to his ears. What gentleman could hear this clarion call and not beg the honor of championing her case? <gasps> What in the world? I swear to you, here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall scour all creation, from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, for your pure heart. Uh, w what he said? And you, my fellow servant of justice, I see your instincts are not to be underestimated. Having guided you to this fair maiden's side. Now then, Miss Moon, what can you tell us of the theft? A theft, sir, to be precise. My pure heart was only the most recent item to be taken from me. I, oh, oh, I'm certain I had it when I left home the other day. After I browsed the latest fashions at the Sun Silk and took in a match at the Colosseum, I realized it was gone. So, the time and location of the theft are unknown, essential details without which we cannot solve the case. There is but one logical course of action, Miss Moon, to coax the hidden clues from your memories. We must reenact that fateful day's excursion to Sun Silk Tapestries. It's impressive that he was there before me. Serendipitously, Inspector Hildebrand and Nashu arrive at the Weaver's Guild shortly after you, and together you all learn that Yellow Moon's pure heart is but one of several items that have been stolen. Unable to determine precisely when and where the perpetrator struck, Inspector Hildebrand proposes that you retrace Yellow Moon's path on the day of the theft. To that end, speak with him outside Sun Silk Trapestry's shop on the steps of Nald. Well, look who's here. Miss Moon, would you be so kind as to describe your visit in detail on the day in question? Oh, nothing unusual happened, but if you insist, 
I was pondering whether or not to purchase a new dress. But when a man approached me and confessed his undying love... What sort of man says that to a complete stranger, I ask you? Naturally, I was taken aback. I dropped my purse in shock, not intentionally on his foot, and he cried out in pain and fled. If I may be so bold, Miss Moon, that strikes me as a most unusual happening. In any case, it appears to be completely unrelated to the theft. Let us next proceed to the Colosseum and see what you remember. Other than the bizarre incident in which a complete stranger professed his undying love to her, Yellow Moon can recall nothing of note. Proceed to the Colosseum entrance next and see what a wealthy woman remembers. All right. Look at all these people. Once again, Miss Moon, if you would be so kind as to tell us what you remember. Well, like before, nothing unusual happened. I felt like gambling that day and was debating which match to observe when a gladiator approached me from behind and confessed his undying love. Naturally, I was taken aback. I whirled about and struck the man in the face with my purse. In shock, not, not intentionally. Unfortunately, since I was carrying a tremendous sum of money, my purse weighed about six score pounds, and the blow was enough to render him unconscious. One hundred and twenty pounces? Miss Moon, you are a remarkably strong woman. Which is precisely why you were targeted. Oh, it's so obvious in hindsight. The thief bore you a grudge. No, more than that. He hated you with a passion. Yes. There sure are a lot of giant crates in Uldar. At the Weaver's Guild, at the Sunset Tapestries, and here, too. Stand back! I am on the verge of unraveling this mystery. I must be allowed to focus. Where? Oh, where could my pure heart be? These crates are everywhere, Jane. I... I wonder what's inside. But I... I don't see how we can open... Ah, of course! I still have plenty of explosives. Here, why don't you try? It'll be fun. Many cope with grief by taking up new pursuits, such as travel or exercise. Nashu chose to study explosives. Oh my god. At the heart of every crime rests a single unassailable truth, reached only by navigating a web of falsehoods and contradictions. Hearken to me now, for as a shepherd leads his flock, I shall guide you to my irrefutable conclusion. A gladiator professes his feelings only to be rejected and physically assaulted in response, wounding his pride as a warrior and man, resenting her prowess whilst recognizing his weakness, he carries out a more feasible vengeance. He robs Yellow Moon of her weapon, the Pure Heart. Inspector, we found the Pure Heart. These strange men sneaking around town in wooden crates had it. <gasps> It... it's not what you think. 
We, we're not little thieves. We, we, we're the no devotees. Yellow Moon is our sun and stars. We, we only wish to keep us safe from harm, and should she misplace an item from time to time, we'd collect it. For safekeeping. Nothing untoward. You, you deviants were behind all the thefts. All this time, you've been stalking me. Why? What? What nerve? Ah, oh, such unbridled fury, such righteous indignation. We should be glad to accept the goddess's punishment. Goddess? Devotees? Ah, but of course. That I had you inspect those crates was a stroke of genius indeed. As I was elucidating but a moment ago, those fiends were obviously the ones responsible for the recent rash of weapon thefts, as... Those thefts were carried out by a single individual, you imbecile. Lest you've forgotten, the culprit is a duelist. He only claims his victims' weapons after defeating them in single combat. If your powers of observation are as great as you claim, you should have deduced that those buffoons in boxes were incapable of such. I should know. I'm a reporter for the Mithril Eye. My name is Ellie, and I've been investigating these incidents for weeks. Inspector Hildebrand. Gentleman investigator, an agent of inquiry, I presume? You're looking well for a dead man. Would you like to meet one of the duelist victims? I'll introduce you with pleasure. You would be willing to share such a precious information with me? Your generosity is commendable, Miss Henry. May this mark the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship. Yes, yes, very good. The name of the man is... Hmm. Where in the bloody hells do you think you're going? I haven't told you anything yet. 